one gentleman in the cottaging hotspot. Sorry to bother you, sir, but wh why are you hanging out down here? No, I just walked up and down here. But wh why would you stop at this particular spot here? Is there anything good here? No, no, no. I, I sometimes see big groups of men hanging out here. I'm just wondering if maybe you knew why. No. No? Okay. Thanks anyway, sir. All the best. Have a good day. Yeah. Have a good cottage. Now, here's a heartbreaking one. Fresh off uh, out of Cottager's Cove, you've got your uh, romantic goose couple in front of a filthy river. Now, uh, I agree, I agree, uh, Goose Man. The filth is, uh, is strong. Oh, look at that! Take off. <laughs> so the red Land Rover and the blue Land Rover had a race, and thank you to all my viewers for correcting me. It was not a Mars Bar advert. It was a Milky Way advert, of course. Sorry? No photos, but I'm a co-op member. No, I'm, I'm a co-op bank customer. And I just want one snap. I, I can't. Just oh, one quick snap. You're, you're not going to kill me uh, if I do. Just. You can go and speak to the security manager and see what he says. No, but that's too long. I'll be literally one, one photo. No, I can't, I can't allow you. You're one, one photo? Yeah. But what will happen if I just take it? Will you, will you get mad at me? Well, yeah. <laughs> now, um, you can go and speak to the security manager and see what he says really quickly. Maybe he'll say that's fine. But me, the security officer who's on a foyer, I cannot allow you to watch it. All the pictures, they've got to be, uh, all the pictures and video recordings got to be agreed or pre agreed with the building manager. Okay, how about if I take from outside? You can, you can do it from outside. That's not so if I'm outside the glass, I can look in from the glass? Uh, let's say yes. Thanks, man. Cheers. Take it easy. No worries. No worries. Not allowed. Not allowed. This is how we do it. So guys, um, Greg was his name, was very friendly. And we, we try and reward good behavior. We try and reward the love. He was very smiley and friendly and even offered to get the security manager involved. But that's not how I roll. Not allowed. So we're walking past and this lovely gentleman goes, would you like to make a seed bomb? I heard the word bomb. I'm like, I am in, I'm in. Some juxtaposition, some juxtaposition. You know what I mean? So as you can see, Vinci Construction here are flying the occupation flag of the LG TV 4K. You may be wondering why there's a big uh, daddy company called BlackRock that organizes pensions and hedge funds and who invests where. And uh, corporations get more brownie points if they fly the occupation flag, unfortunately. And so they get more investment. That's the way it works. All the satellite vans are here for the Cashman and Letby ongoing case. It's still a. Uh, Manchester is still the epicenter for the most horrific crimes. Once again. So there's a guy handcuffed at the entrance to the back of sorry the back entrance of the Crown Court. Let's have a look. My own public, my own interest. Is that okay? We all, we all know the law. We all know it. Madam, you have no authority over me on public land. I'm sorry. You know, you got to respect me as a member of the public as well. Surely that would be, you shouldn't have told me to stop filming when you could have done that. No, and look, and you shouldn't tolerate him making threats against me as well. Uh, so, madam, when the BBC or ITV takes pictures like this, you tell them off, say I shouldn't be winding them up. No one's winding anyone up. You guys are getting a bit 
overexerty with your authority. So in case the viewer did not notice, the man was handcuffed. Handcuffed at the back of the magistrate's court. Caught at court. Caught at court. He's done. How dare you? Hi everyone, I'm Charlie Veach here obviously. It's with great sadness I've had confirmation from his brother that Anthony Miara, also known as Crutchy on my channel, has passed away. Uh, the sad story is he took a, a hot bunch of uh, narcotics which uh, he did not survive. So the era of Crutchy is over and uh, rest in peace. Thank you big group of uh, lovely firemen. I got the camera out and they're like, Charlie! I was like, get your handsome side on. And uh, nobody dislikes a fireman. They're, they're always good good people. And uh, there's three three engines here responding to probably a, a false alarm. I need to ask, who's Stu Ken? <laughs> Stu, oh, uh, <laughs> crew manager Pid. Oh yeah? Famous scenes of people kicking off outside the... outside the uh, Cottager's Cove. There was a man who got out of his car and kicked off. No, madam, leave me alone. Go away. Leave me alone. Go away. No. Leave me alone and go away. No. <laughs> Who do you think you are coming out in public telling photographers what to do? Do the walk of shame. Off you go. See ya. Bye bye. Go tell someone else what to do. Thank you. some hacked uh, Manchester bikes and young boys in balaclavas, as you do. Did they pay for it? Of course not. Okay, ladies and gents, viewers of this fine, fine channel, I've got some good news for you. Thomas Cashman, the Liverpudlian man accused of murdering the young girl, the nine-year-old, has been found guilty on all counts. And so there is a, a large media presence here. Justice has been served. And as we all know, prison isn't a very happy place for people who hurt children. So my advice to him is he should uh, dispose of himself at the earliest opportunity. Check this one out guys, there's an orange ball, it's like a football, in the river, and it is geostationary. The river is flowing quite fast away from us, but the wind is blowing quite strongly towards us, and it's keeping the balloon in perfect neutral buoyancy. Mm -hmm. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for this video. We are saying goodbye from Salford Cathedral on Chapel Street. 
As always, remember to leave your local photon collector alone, and then everyone will be happy. And if you are caught by a photon collector, smile and wave. Smile and wave is uh, the, his simple message he gave us.